Hello everyone, it's Zaid from zsecurity.org and in this video I'm gonna show you how to hack an OS X computer using a legitimate Microsoft Office document. This video is taken from my social engineering course where I cover how to hack Windows, OS X, Linux and even Android using advanced Trojans and social engineering techniques. If you're interested in that, then check out the link in the description to get a nice discount on the full course. In this lecture, I'm gonna be using a tool called Empire and I'm assuming that you already have that installed. Please follow the instructions in the description on how to install this tool. We seen previously how we can embed evil code inside Microsoft Office documents. So we covered how you can embed it in Windows before. And now that we're in the OS X section, I want to show you how to do that with OS X. So basically generating the macro from Empire is the same, whether you're generating it for Windows or for OS X. The only difference is how you're going to embed it inside the file. So to generate a macro, it's really, really easy. All we have to do is use a stager. And we can double tap to see all the options. And if you're doing one for Windows, you can just do the Windows macro. But in my case, I'm targeting an OS X machine, so I'm going to do OS X macro. Then I'm going to do info to see all the information, all the things that I can set. And you can see that I've already set my listener and my out file. But I'm going to do them in front of you just to show you the general procedure that you'd be usually doing. So you'd want to do set listener to the listener that, you're that you want to receive connections on. And in my case, it's called HTTP1. And then I'm going to set my out file to var www html evil files OS X macro. Now, by now, it should be really easy for you to set any option you want. We have covered this many times. All you have to do is just do set, option name, option value. So if I do info now, we'll see everything is updated. And I can just do execute to generate my macro. And now it's telling us that the macro is stored in var www.html, evil files, OS X macro. So if I come here on my window, on my Mac OS machine, and if I go to my web browser, to my web server, in evil files, and OS X macro. Now that we have our macro in here, let's see how we can embed it into an Excel file this time instead of a Word file. And then we're going to execute it and see if it works. So the first thing that we want to do is to copy all of this. And then I'm going to open my Excel. So I'm going to go on Launchpad and open Excel. I'm going to create a blank window. And then I'm going to go on View and click on View Macros. So, so far the process is identical to what we do on Windows. Here things are going to change a bit. So you want to set the macro name to Auto open. So this has to be exactly the same way that I'm doing it here. It has to have an underscore between the two names. It has to have a capital A here and a capital O. Once you do that, make sure that you select the current workbook. And in my case, it's called workbook one, as you can see in here. And then click on the plus. This will open the window where we can paste our code. And I'm going to select all of this and CMD and V or control and V to paste everything. And since I called this auto open, I'm going to have to change the name here to auto as well. So that's the only thing that we need to change in the code. We just have to change it from works workbook open to auto open. That's it. We're done now. I'm going to close this. And you can just add some sample text here, maybe some numbers or whatever you're supposed to have in here. You can even add some text. So this is all going to depend on your information gathering on how well you know the target person. 
I'm gonna save this now, go to file and save. And we're gonna keep this at the desktop. We can call it anything, let's just call it test. And the file format, this is very important. You wanna set this to Excel, 97 to 2004. I'm gonna click on save. And that's it, we're good to go. I'm gonna close this. And as we can see, we have our file here. It has a proper icon for an Excel. It's an actual proper document. It's not like the the it's not like the backdoor that we created before where the backdoor downloads a file, opens it and runs the backdoor. This is kind of like the opposite. This is a legitimate Microsoft Office document that has some evil code embedded in it. Now if we double click this, you'll see Microsoft will show a warning saying that there is a macro in here. So again, this is going to depend on your social engineering skills. You're going to have to convince the target to enable macros. You can tell them that they won't see the content if they don't enable it or the file will be corrupt. So you, you need to use your imagination to get the target person to click on enable macros. Once they do that, they'll get a normal Microsoft Excel document. If we go to our Kali machine, we'll see that we got a connection from our agent and we can interact with it now. We can do interact. We can do sysinfo. And as you can see, we have full access and full control over the target computer. And we did this using a legitimate Microsoft Office document. We didn't use a backdoor. We didn't use an executable. We used a proper Microsoft Office document with an evil code embedded in it as a macro.